In today's video, I'm going to show you how to flip your webcam on Google Meet using a free program called Snap Camera. Coming right up. Hey dancers, welcome to Dance Tech with Jay Su, the channel where dancers become more proficient and efficient in the digital space. As we all know and hate by now, when you're using Google Meet, your webcam flips your image. If you're teaching a dance class, that's especially annoying when you say your right hand and your students see it on your left. Snap Camera is a free program that lets you use Snapchat filters on your webcam and one of them allows you to flip your camera. If you've seen my video on how to flip your webcam for Zoom, this is the exact same thing. But I've had a lot of requests on how to do it specifically for Google Meet, so here we go. I'm going to show you how to install and use Snap Camera first, then we'll get into some troubleshooting tips, so even if you've watched my other video, stick around. Before we go any further, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and if you find my content valuable, hit that subscribe button so you know when all my videos come out. Also, follow me on Instagram. Remember, Snap Camera is a third-party app, so if your computer operating system has an update or Google Meet has an update, Snap Camera might not work until their team figures out what to do. As of this recording, the most recent version of Snap Camera is 1.10.0 and it works with both Windows 10 and Catalina 10.15.7. Keep in mind, if you're using a school computer, then you may not be able to download Snap Camera. And because you need to download the program, Snap Camera doesn't work for Chromebooks, smartphones, or tablets. Ever since my first video on Snap Camera, I've been looking for a solution for Chromebooks and mobile devices and I still haven't found anything, so sorry. And finally, for all the dance teachers out there, keep in mind, if your computer doesn't have a strong enough processor, you may experience a slight delay in video when using Snap Camera. I'll have this problem sometimes on my laptop if I have a bunch of other tabs and music apps open, but on my desktop, I'm totally fine. So depending on what I'm teaching, sometimes I'll use Snap Camera, sometimes I won't. Okay. Let's get into this. Okay, so to start, you're going to go to the Snap Camera website, which I have put a link to in the description below. Hit download, and scroll down, check the boxes. Also, just double check to make sure that your computer meets these requirements. And then you can hit whichever computer you have. And then once that's done, you're gonna open it and run the installer. I've already done this, but it's pretty simple, just follow the steps. Once that is done, make sure you restart your computer and then you're going to open Snap Camera. So I'm gonna go here, open it up, and look at that, there we go. Okay, but you'll notice it is still flipped. This is my left hand, you see it on the right hand side. Now over here are all of your filters. So here we're gonna look for selfie flip. And you'll see it's gonna pop up. Oh, where'd it go? I saw it, here we go. What are you doing? Go, go back. I saw it. Literally, I just saw it. Here we go. And now when I click on it, now it flips. So now I'm waving my left hand and you see it on the left. That's simple. But there are a couple things to note. So you'll see these star icons. If you star it, it will put it in your favorite gallery. That way you don't have to type in selfie flip every single time. And it's really easy. So I could just go here star and now you'll see it's there so now here are all my favorites for example i did this one for, this is halloween soon roar ah, so scary right or I go here oh there you see i can see that like glitch effect so this is also really fun for regular class just uh use it appropriately but once they're here you can then find them very quickly every single time now a couple things if you go up here you'll see the camera source so you can change the camera you can decide to run Snap Camera on System Startup if you want. Make sure you don't do this. If you turn this on, it will flip your video, but it will only show up on your end. Everyone else in the meeting will still see you the regular way, so don't do this. This is very misleading. And also, make sure Snap Code Overlay is turned off. I'll show you what that looks like when we actually go to uh, Google Meet. Okay, so I'm here. I have the camera flipped. Now I'm gonna go to Google Meet. Okay, so we're in the meeting, and now if you don't see it going through Snap Camera, here's how you fix that. You're gonna go down here, go to your settings, video, 
and now under camera make sure a snap camera is selected versus your normal webcam or whatever else is going on on your computer and there you go now if I go here to show you if I turn it off it's gonna show up in Google Meet if I turn on any other filter what's up this is kind of creepy I should have chosen a better example here you go Oh, it's not a glitch effect. It's like little faces. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know what that is. So there you go. It's that simple. Now, remember when I said don't do that overlay? So if I go to my settings, show snap code overlay. Now this is going to show up here. So this is, you know, if uh, you want other friends to see it and I guess find it, but I wouldn't recommend that. So make sure that is turned off. And that's it. Hope that helps. And don't forget, you always want to turn on Snap Camera first before you log on to your Google Meet class, Zoom, WebEx, whatever you're using. If you're having problems with Snap Camera, here are a few simple solutions you can try. If you open Google Meet and you only see the Snap Camera logo, close the meeting and make sure you turn on Snap Camera first. If you have Snap Camera open and you don't see anything in the feed, go to your settings and make sure you have the correct camera selected. If that still doesn't work, restart your computer and make sure you open Snap Camera before Google Meet. If you don't want to restart your computer every time, PC users can use the Task Manager by hitting Control Alt Delete, then find Snap Camera and hit End Task. Just be aware that sometimes it might be under Background Processes. If you're on a Mac, pull up your Activity Monitor and do the same thing. I can't show you how to do that because I have a PC, but I've linked an article in the description that will take you through all those steps. Once in a while, there seems to be a glitch where the entire screen turns yellow, in which case that seems to be a bug on Snap Camera's end, and all you can do is wait for an update, unfortunately. As a last resort, if nothing is working, try uninstalling and reinstalling Snap Camera. That actually just happened to me where I updated the program and nothing was working, but then I reinstalled it and everything was fine. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you found it helpful. If you aren't able to download Snap Camera or it's glitching on you, you can also try using something like OBS Camera. But that's coming up in a future video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know when that video drops. And while you're at it, give this video a like. I'll see you next time. Five, six, seven, eight.